Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into the sanctuary here at Bethany. Bless you with me today. We are in the midst of the season of Advent. This will be the second Sunday of Advent coming up for us. The Christmas tree going up as I speak. I just want to talk a little bit about this Sunday's gospel text for Advent 2. We are focused this week on John the Baptist. John is an interesting character. He is the one sent to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. He's the one that is baptizing people out in the wilderness, eating locusts and wild honey. Um, but his, his background, where he comes from and who his parents are, is of interest to the story as well. You see, John the Baptist's father, Zechariah, is actually a priest in the temple. And Zechariah is in the temple praying by himself one day when the angel comes to visit him and say, you and Elizabeth are going to have a child. Well, Zechariah doesn't believe the angel. He laughs because he and Elizabeth are older. They've been barren. They don't have any kids. He just doesn't believe it. But the angel reassures him and then tells him he will not be able to speak as a punishment for his lack of faith until the child is born. So Zechariah comes out of the temple and cannot speak at all. As time goes on, we know that that same angel eventually visits Mary, tells her that she will be with child. And Mary, after having that visit from the angel, runs away from home. She actually runs away to go visit her cousin, Elizabeth, and stays with Elizabeth and Zechariah for a little while. And we even know that the moment that Mary walked through the door, the baby in Elizabeth's womb, John, leapt for joy inside of her womb. These two, John the Baptist and Jesus, would eventually connect many years later when John the Baptist baptized Jesus in the Jordan. And John the Baptist actually tells Jesus, you should be baptizing me. And Jesus says, nope, this is how it's got to be. And eventually, once John the Baptist is arrested, some of his followers, some of his disciples, start following Jesus. So it's quite interesting to see the connection between John the Baptist and Jesus. But John's biggest role is to go ahead and prepare the way for the coming of the Lord, which is exactly what we are doing in Advent. We are preparing the way for the coming of the Lord. The way in which we set our hearts and set our spirits during this time matters. The way in which we celebrate matters. Everything we do from our decorations to our tone and the words that we share and the songs that we sing, all of those things set the tone, prepares the way for the coming of the Lord, both in our lives and in the lives of those around us. So this week we look at John the Baptist as we continue to prepare for the coming of Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks be to God. Amen.